Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and we'll continue talking about uh, Python scripts. And today we'll give more advanced uh, examples. So, whoever did not see uh, the previous lesson, lesson number 67, uh, he or she must uh, view or see the lesson uh, to learn how to uh, work with Python scripts under Orange Data Mining. And today we'll continue uh, with uh, our uh, examples. But before that, uh, I just want to explain something very important. Uh, that is why we need to have Python scripts in Orange Data Mining. Orange Data Mining has uh, tens of widgets uh, and uh, most of the functionality are there. So why we need to have Python scripts in Orange? The first thing actually is um, due to the flexibility and customization of Python. Python, it can provide you with, with unlimited functionality. So you can, whatever uh, doesn't uh, uh, exist in uh, Orange Data Mining widgets, you can find it in Python. Second thing, you can control data sets, Corpus, everything. You can control them the way that you want. Also, you, cus you can customize the inputs and the outputs for uh, many widgets. Uh, one also of the uh, very important uh, topics is the pre-processed text, which is controlling the text in your uh, way. Uh, as you know, we have pre-processed text widget in Orange. However, if you did not uh, see all your, your requirements there, you can use Orange uh, uh, Python scripts in Orange Data Mining. Also, you can customize or even create your new learners. So suppose that you are, for example, uh, working on a thesis uh, or PhD thesis, uh, master thesis, uh, research, and you, uh, for example, identify new enhancements in one of the learners. So you can get this uh, code into Python here, and you can create the learner and integrate it with all other widgets. So you can really have a, 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 an excellent way of presenting your customization. It's all about calculation. At the end of the day, Python uh, provides with you with, with thousands of, of functionalities uh, uh, that you can use for your calculation. And the last thing, you can extend uh, and access uh, hundreds and thousands of libraries in Python. You, so you can, you can just uh, install these libraries in uh, your environment and you can customize uh, and see how to access them and utilize them. So uh, let's go into this uh, example uh, or a few examples that I'm going to give today. So today uh, we're going to start with Python script uh, directly, Python script. So this is the Python script. So I'm going to use uh, in the code, we will do something uh, very nice, which is I'm going to create a new data set uh, in a spot. So we're going to use this data set. Okay. And in this data set, uh, which I'm going to explain now, we will create some attributes and we will put some uh, data and we will see it in uh, in a bit. So uh, let me just explain this code. So we're going to import the numpy because we're going to use the array in the numpy. Second thing, we can we need to import very important objects from orange.data. We're going to import table, domain, continuous variable and discrete variables. These are the uh, controlling, they, they will control the um, the fields or the the features, the features names, the feature names. Let me close this one, uh, so we don't uh, get any notifications. Okay. Also, um, with this one uh, and in any data set, you will see that you need the, to create the attributes. Number one, number two, you need to define the type of attributes then you need to put the data. So this is what we're gonna do. In the domain, we're gonna use this domain object, okay? And we're gonna create age attribute. Uh, it, it is continuous variable. So it, it, it has a number, just number values. The second variable, the height, uh, or the second uh, feature is the height. So it's continuous variable also. The third one is discrete, where we're gonna define the gender, either male or female. This is the values, male or female. Uh, so this is how we created the uh, structure of your data set. Now let's fill this data set with information. So what we're going to do, we're going to say array, array or any variable equal number dot array. We're going to fill the age with 25, 186 for the height and zero uh, means uh, the first one, which is male. 
so this is the male and the second instance or the second record we will have 30 for the age 164 for the height and one for the uh, for the gender which is female so to be able to see this in the uh, uh, different widget so we're gonna pass the output now so the output equal table dot form numpy we're gonna send two things the domain which we created and the array the data so once we run this we will connect this to data table okay data to data and as you can see these are the two records so we have age height gender and we have these two records okay as you can see 25 186 and male the second one 30 164 and female this is the beauty of uh, the scripts so from the script itself you could create your own customized data set okay uh, so you can have for loops you can have whatever in python and you can create very advanced complicated uh, data sets uh, on a spot okay and you can pass it and you it's now part from uh, the workflow so this is the beauty that the python scripts is barred from all other widgets so after you've done it you can just view it in the data table also you can if you want go into scra uh, scatter plot and even okay print this so for example this is the age and by gender this this is the points because we have just two points okay so this is the beauty of uh, the scripting or python script in uh, orange data mining okay you do the script then you connect all other widgets with the script now let's uh, give more uh, examples uh, of course here if you want can also you can create another python let's create another python okay and let's print uh, let's print the values that we got from the table so I, what i'm gonna do here is this one we're gonna print the attributes and the length how many uh, uh, instance we have run as you can see th this is the instance okay this is the instance this is uh, the selected in in instances see i put the selected data see here this is the selected data or i can select both and they will appear here see these are the two you know records so i connected the selected data with data not just the data so you can also connect the data to data if you want and this is the uh, domain this is the um, domain and this is number of instances r2 so i could connect uh, python script to data table to python script to other widgets you can do this easily and uh, this is the amazing integration between python scripts and all other widgets let's take another example and in the second example we will use file and we're going to use iris data set okay iris data set i always put this as uh, as a target and from this one we will do something else i'm gonna uh, connect this to python python script and from python script i'm gonna put this code i will leave this code in uh, in the uh, github you can find the link in the uh, video description okay and in this one i gonna okay put this code okay i gonna put this code so we're gonna use random we're gonna use random and we're gonna uh, import the domain and the table from object the orange to data to use them and first we're gonna copy the input data into new data and i gonna pass through this new data i gonna pass into every single instance in the new data I then gonna uh, pass into every single attribute as you can see for instance in new data for each instance for if field in, in uh, instance dot domain dot attributes we will go through each attributes and for each attribute here we will put the value the same value and we will add it we will add random Gaussian guess, guess this is where we need to add some noise to the data this is just an example how to use random and the uh, uh, Gaussian Gaussian nodes. This is the Gaussian nodes, and this is the uh, uh, measures that I will uh, will use. I'm gonna put the interval uh, 0 0.02 and zero, and I'm gonna pass then the data. Okay, the output that equal the new data which I changed. So when I say run, when I click run, let's just view the output. This is the the, the table okay and let's see the see the values now it has been changed into 
uh, I put some noise into random noise, random noise into all these fields across all these you know values. If you see the first, if you see the original data, this is the original data. Okay, this is the original data. As you can see, this is the original data, and this is the modified data. So I will put them in both, so you can uh, check them out. So this is original data. It was 5.1. Now it's 5.148, etc. So we we changed all these fields, to, and we added more noise to the data. Sometimes you might need this, but this is the way how you do it in Python script. So this is the first uh, and the, uh, and the third example. The the last example and today we will also do something else we will connect to iris data set okay i'm gonna, gonna give this as uh, iris and i'm gonna uh, uh, connect to python script and i'm gonna put uh, more code i'm gonna put this code and i will show you something uh, you might want to use it or this is the in generic the way what we would need to do we need to identify the logs for all these values okay for all the data here let me just connect the data 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 so we need to identify the logs for all these val values how we do it simply simply we will do it in this way we will create python script we will import the nb and from our data we're gonna use table we're gonna import table and new data equal uh, nb numpy dot log we will do the log function in mathematics and we will apply it to in data dot x all x values we will have the logs okay and we will pass the output data equal table this is the domain this is the new x this is the y which is the y we will keep y as is which is the output which is the class okay and uh, the meters if any but we don't have meters but i will keep it so when you do run i, I will click run and if i uh, connect to data table if i open this you will see that now we have the logs for all these values as you can see small values with negative values so we put the log uh, function into all these values this is uh, the lesson for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. But also we will talk about more advanced uh, also topics uh, in the coming uh, uh, last Python uh, video to see also how we can integrate into more widgets and how we can customize a few things uh, there and there. Till then, uh, enjoy Orange Data Mining and we'll see you there uh, and enjoy uh, the beauty of uh, Python and Orange Data Mining. Bye.